Hello and welcome back to Matthew's Tottenham blog and another episode of Transfer Talk. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing news of a uh, confirmed signing, a confirmed departure and a little bit extra at the end as well. So uh, before I get started, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you. So first of all, it looks like we've actually signed a player. Um, not a player that anyone would have heard of before, but uh, Notts County posted on their Twitter earlier today that their 17-year-old striker, Kian Etete, has left and joined Tottenham. Um, Etete has had a few trial spells at Tottenham before and he played for us in a few games. Uh, most notably, he scored two against West Ham in a, in, a, in a youth game earlier in the season. And he also played for us in a pre-season tournament uh, in South Africa over the last couple of days. Um, it's believed that we've signed him for £200,000. And um, I mean, I don't know much about him and I doubt anyone else does, but he's a young player. So hopefully he's, he's a good prospect for the future and we get to see a bit of him in the next few seasons. And the player that has confirmed that he has left the club today is Michel Vorm. Uh, he posted on his Instagram earlier today uh, a thank you post to Tottenham and the fans for the last five years of his career. Um, we signed him, of course, five years ago uh, for £3.5 million from Swansea in a, in a swap deal that included Ben Davis and Gilfie Sigurdsson as well. Uh, he played 13 times for the club over during his spell, uh, mainly as a Larissa's deputy, but he was kind of knocked out of that position in the last season by Paolo Gazzaniga. Now there's another bit of news today on the Fulham winger Ryan Sessegnon. Uh, Fulham offered him a new contract and according to Sky Sports, Sessegnon has turned down that contract and has told the club that he's looking to looking to join a Premier League side over the summer. Uh, United and Tottenham are apparently the two teams interested in him, but again it's Sky Sports understand that he wants to stay in London and his preferred destination is Spurs. Now, Sessegnon before last season was seen as one of the biggest prospects in English football over the next couple of years and to be fair he was really really good for Fulham in the championship but I think last season coming up into the Premier League he was, find, he was found out quite a bit and he didn't have the season that anyone was expecting him to have and you know maybe his downturn in form was a part of the problem that caused Fulham to be relegated but um, at the end of the day he's another young player who has a lot of potential and we know as always that Pochettino works really really well with those players so Unless Fulham are looking for an exceptionally high fee, I think it, it's it's worth a go signing him. I mean, we're going to generate a lot of money from the Ericsson transfer that's looking likely at the moment. So I think if we are going to try and get in a few young players, he's definitely one that should be top of the list along with Jack Clark of Leeds. Um, and again, maybe if he's in a better team than Fulham, in a team like Spurs, he might stand out a lot more. And it could give him the platform that he needs to, to push on and be a better player. So unless... Again, unless they're looking for a really high fee, he's someone that I think we should try and get into the club. And hopefully he he can push on and be the player that we kind of need in our team at the moment. Finally, I'm sure we've all heard at this stage that uh, Christian Eriksen has said he's looking to try something new and potentially leave Tottenham this summer. Um, now before these comments were made, the only team that he was really linked to that there were rumours surrounding was Real Madrid. But there's been talk in the last couple of days that uh, Zinedine Zidane doesn't actually want Christian Eriksen in the club. Because from Zidane's point, Zidane's point of view, he sees Eriksen as a very similar player to the likes of Luka Modric and Toni Kroos. So he doesn't really feel that Eriksen is someone that Real Madrid need to bring in this summer. So that has kind of cast a bit of doubt onto Eriksen's move to Real Madrid. And this is where it comes important, where in his statement he said that he'll only leave Tottenham if it's a step up. And of course, as you'd expect after he made those comments, there's been so many rumours about other teams looking to sign him, particularly Inter Milan and PSG. Um, the Inter Milan is only a relatively new one, but f uh, for the PSG transfer, um, what I've heard is that they're looking to sign Eriksen in a cash plus player deal. So Julian Draxler is a player that could potentially be going the other way because PSG have come fairly close in the last couple of years to breaching the financial fair play rules. So in, in order to sign players, but to keep their outgoing cash as low as they possibly can, it would be a case where they have to sign in player plus cash deals. Um, it's it's hard to tell at the moment where Christian Eriksen is going to end up because, as I said, when when a player makes comments like that, it, all of a sudden every team in Europe is interested in him and there's just so many news stories and you never know what to believe. But from the Real Madrid point of view, uh, a big part of why Zidane left the club the first time is that they failed to sign Aiden Hazard. So it could be a thing with them this year that because it's Florentino Perez, the Real Madrid president, who was uh, believed to be mainly interested in Eriksen. So it could be a thing this summer that... it. There may be a compromise there between Perez and Zidane that Perez promised to bring in Aiden Hazard because they agreed a deal to sign him yesterday. 
So they brought in Hazard and Zidane has to compromise and allow Eriksen into the club as well. Which, I mean, it can't be a bad thing for him. I mean, I know he already has that really, really solid midfield like the Cruz, Modric, Casemiro, Asensio. They're all really good players, but Eriksen can certainly reach that level as well. So uh, it, it may be Real Madrid, it may not be Real Madrid, but there are, are other teams who I'm sure will be interested in him that will also be a step up from Tottenham. So at the moment, it's it's hard to tell where he is going to end up. But I personally, I can't see him staying at the club because Pochettino doesn't seem to be the type of manager that would accept a player going out and saying like that and then still keeping him in the team in the next few seasons when he knows there are players who want to be at the club more than Eriksen. So it looks like it is the end of his career at Tottenham, uh, no matter where he ends up. And it, it would be upsetting to see him go, but it's such a good opportunity to use that money and spend it in a way like Liverpool did when they sold Coutinho. And perhaps it could be what we need to, to make that jump to the next level and hopefully go on and win some silverware in the next season. So uh, that's it for the video today. Uh, leave down in the comments below what you think about the latest transfer rumours and this player that we've apparently signed from Notts County. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. And as always, thanks for watching.